Well, hey, everybody. Good day to wherever you are. And I am so excited about this conversation that we started last Sunday called Deeply Formed Lessons in the Life of David, particularly David's early life, seeing what journey, what story God had him living in his early faith formation that prepared him for all that God had for him in his life. And so last week we looked at the anointing of David and it was amazing watching so many on Sunday come forward to be anointed because God has called all of us into a sacred invitation of what it means to live out the kingdom in our everyday lives, in every industry, in every situation of life. And so we wanna just encourage that, that God's hand is on you and that God is calling you into a specific reality for the sake of furthering his kingdom in our life. And so today we are gonna talk about looking forward to this next Sunday, and that's gonna be on being equipped. So if last week was on anointed, we looked this week on David being equipped for the kind of life that God was calling him into and that God is calling us into. And so we're going to look at 1 Samuel chapter 17. So if you have time before Sunday, I just encourage you to read that chapter. It is so loaded with incredible content about what it means to be equipped for the battles that we fight on a daily basis. It's the famous David versus Goliath battle. I'm going to be unpacking some of the context on that on Sunday, seeing some things that maybe sort of we haven't noticed before in this text. It seems familiar that a lot of us, if not all of us know, but yet there's so much in it that we haven't may be heard or understood in order to put the pieces together. As we do that, I really want to make some turns for us to consider in our own lives, what battle is God equipping us to fight and what weapons are you using? Let me say that again. What battle is God equipping you to fight and what weapons are you using? We're all in a battle somewhere and we're all using weapons of some device that we have come up with in order to engage that battlefield. And so I just want you to think about that because God is equipping you to fight the battle that God has for you to win. And Jesus is the one who has actually won the battle ultimately. And so we are following him into the battlefields of our life, ultimately knowing that he is the victorious one and we are victorious in him. So we're going to look at that this week and consider what does it mean for us to grow in being equipped for all that God has for us as we live lives here in our time. So I pray for you, and I'm praying toward this Sunday. I sense God is at work deeply amongst us, and uh, I look forward to being together soon. In Jesus' name. 